The species Homo sapiens can be distinguished from other species of hominid by the rounded cranium, which is high but shorter as opposed to those crania of earlier hominids, which was low but longer. The reduction of the eyebrows, the lack of a ridge in the back of the skull known as the occipital bun. Uh, all of these are anatomical features which can help us to identify Homo sapiens, the species. The first Homo sapiens are known in Africa 200,000 years ago. And as they spread throughout Africa, and later, 70,000 years ago, when they reach the Middle East and Asia, and then 40,000 years ago, when they begin to enter Europe, we can ask, what happened then? There were already other species of hominid living in Africa, in Asia, and in Europe when Homo sapiens reached there. One model, the replacement model, holds that these more primitive uh, species became extinct and that all modern humans owe 100% of their ancestry to this group of Homo sapiens. A second alternative, that of regional continuity, is that when Homo sapiens arrived in these other continents, populations interbred with the hominids already living there and so that the modern groups of humans native to Africa, to Europe, and to Asia would not only have their ancestry determined by the Homo sapiens which originated in Africa 200,000 years ago, but also in some of these earlier groups of hominids which had spread throughout the globe. In general, most human anatomy and genetics is comparable, suggesting that almost all of our ancestry hails from the group of Homo sapiens which origi originated in Africa recently. However, there are some anatomical features in some populations and some sections of DNA in some populations which suggest that at least to some degree the regional continuity model holds as well. So Neanderthals do seem to have contributed at least some of the genetic information of Europeans and Asians. And the Denisovans, a group uh, of hominids living in Asia is now known to have contributed genetic inf uh, information uh, to uh, Australian Aborigines and Melanesians. And so uh, it seems that while the replacement model is predominantly true, that to some degree there was interbreeding and that these other hominid species did contribute to some modern human populations.